this is prosperity, the uh, 40 day abundance um, plan as some people call it prosperity book. I don't have a, I don't have a title for this. Um, and I'm really, this is something that I do in case you're just tuning in and you don't know what I'm doing. I've done this, this is my fourth year doing this. Um, I usually do it around my birthday. Um, and I still wanted to get it in this year. So this is um, this is the change your money mindset. And really it's not just your money mindset, but it's your mindset about everything. Um, so I come on here, I do a live every day, usually in the morning. This is an exception just because it was a, a, a challenging morning for me this morning. Um, and then I read the statement from the book that you can get on Amazon and uh, then I kind of break it down a little bit and then that's that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> welcome to day five of the prosperity plan. Um, I'm going to read the statement from today and the statement comes from the book. Money is not my supply. No person, place or condition is my supply. My awareness, understanding, and knowledge of the all-providing activity of the divine mind within me is my supply. My consciousness of this truth is unlimited, therefore my supply is unlimited. So I'm going to read it again. Money is not my supply. No person, place, or condition is my supply. My awareness, understanding, and knowledge of the all-providing activity of the divine mind within me is my supply. My consciousness of this truth is unlimited, therefore my supply is unlimited. Okay, so if you've been watching the other days, um, you know, I've been, I've been speaking about this because this is what this is really about. It's about understanding that it is not the money that is giving you what you want. It is your energy, it is your vibration, it is it is all of that. And this is so interesting because I just had dinner tonight with a with a friend and it was a great conversation. And you know, I was speaking about how I wanted to up level my income. And I also realized that it wasn't about the money. It was never about the money when I wanted to shift the amount that was in my bank. It was always about my worth. It was always about how much I felt I actually deserved. And it was also about utilizing my gifts properly. Because there's wealth and abundance in the gifts that you have. Every single one of us has gifts. We do. Even if you sing, there's nobody who sings like you. You play the drums, there's no one who plays the drums like you. You know, if you're a life coach, there's no one who does that like you. Everything that you bring to this world is your own unique special gift and talent. And honestly, the reason why many of us are not as abundant in wealth as we would like to be is because we're not utilizing our gifts and talents properly. Or some of us just aren't utilizing those gifts or talents at all. Because it's not money that's your supply. It's the divine mind within you. It is source energy. It is that which has created all that is your supply. So let's Let's talk a little bit about this divine mind, this source energy, just to get an understanding of what abundance actually looks like in real life. Every spring, when you know the weather breaks and things start blooming and blossoming, trees grow leaves. They just do tons of leaves no limitation to it the grass springs up no limitation to it right if you're i'm not a bible scholar by any means but you know there's a passage in there that talks about how the the birds don't ask for their food like animals don't ask for food animals don't worry about it it's provided for them they just know it's part of the flow of what they do there's an abundance of flowers that happens it just grows it just grows that same energy that brings forth that type of life that's constantly abundant 
People are going apple picking now. Apples just falling off the trees. Oranges growing. Blueberries on bushes. Just ready for you. That same type of abundance, that energy is the same energy that flows through you. You're just like an apple tree. Have you ever been to an apple orchard and there's just like apples everywhere, everywhere? That's you. Your abundance is, is just that great. If you're not seeing it manifest in your actual physical space, there's something in your energy that's saying you can't have it or you don't deserve it. But it's not the money that's the problem. It's the way you're viewing it. It's your mindset. It's you. I just, I want to go back and look at this again. <clears throat> Librarian glasses. Money is not your supply. No person, place, or condition is your supply. Your awareness, understanding, and knowledge of the all-providing activity of the divine mind within you is your supply. Your consciousness of this truth is unlimited. Therefore, your supply is unlimited. Can you allow those words to sink in? Can you, can you even begin to comprehend the fact that the energy which created the stars in the sky, the infinite number of stars, that unlimited energy is the same energy that flows through you? Can you begin to comprehend the unlimited energy of your heart beating, carrying you through this life year after year after year? And the energy that flows through you that's the same energy that is attached to your abundance. It is unlimited. The only limitations that are placed on what you can receive in your life are placed by you. Your abundance is not dependent upon your job, your family, your background, your gender, where you come from. And we've seen this proven time and time again with a variety of people. It's not that they're special and you're not. They're not lucky. And yes, there's hard work to be done. It's like there's going to be work. But when you're utilizing your gifts and your talents in the proper way, it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like an expansive unfolding. It feels like creation. Maybe take some time and think about what are your talents and gifts? What are you, what are you great at? What do you love? What do you enjoy doing? People always say, well, what would you do for free? I don't know about that, but what do you enjoy doing? What is your passion? What is your truest calling? And how can you begin to live that part of yourself? How can you begin to live your life from that space? Because in there, there will be so much unfolding. That divine mind energy will begin to unfold and unfold and you will find abundance in your life on a daily basis. And then yes, you will find additional wealth as well. So that's it, it's short tonight. I'm not just doing this for you all, I'm doing it for me as well. And as I speak to you all, it helps me to understand the passages and it helps me to dig deeper and integrate the words. So I'm not just reading them intellectually, but I'm actually feeling them into my body. So thank you for watching the replay, rewatching, watching on YouTube, 
thank you for watching and for joining me in this. I love you all. Have a, well, it's not daytime, so I guess have a fucking abundant night. Bye.